Hey there team, uh, so in the midst of, well, when I'm recording this, in the midst of the 1v1 tournament uh, that is, uh, well, uh, you know, going on as we speak, um, this is a big 4v4 on the uh, on the grassy plains. So Stu sent this in, playing as Canned, and uh, I just thought I'd, actually, let's just pause it to make sure I can get through his army when it's all formed up nicely like this. And then we'll go back to 0 0.1 speed to get rid of this big pause bar. So he's got his Nurad Windblades. That's where he's popped his general. I, I love to play as Kant. I don't actually take the Windblades myself. Uh, then the Windriders of Kant. And uh, Nomadic Light Cavalry. More Nomadic Light Cavalry. And that's that. None of the... I've not actually played as Kant in the new version yet. And he's not got the, uh, the Glory Hunters or whatever they're called. Um, yeah, damn. I want, to, I want to see those guys in action, actually. Uh, Nurad Footman, lots of Nurad Footman. The Brother to the Shadow, double uh, Nomadic Marauders. Then Varig Bowman, Nomadic Raiders, Brother to the Axe, Sword, uh, sorry, yeah, Brother to the Sword, and Varig Warriors, of course, with that beautiful armor upgrade and Nomadic Axemen. I'm actually, uh, I have played as Kant. Yeah, definitely uh, played as them in a Burst of Gath Siege, but I've not played as them in an open field. Let's actually zoom over here first, and let's go back to Spear Point 1 speed. So, playing as Gondor, we have a Melissa Vincent, 26. So, uh, Gondorian infantry here. No armor upgrades for them. No, no armor upgrades for these guys, too. Up front, Gondorian archers. More lots and lots of Gondor archers. Actually, how many is that? Because I think that this is thick into the red limit. One, two, three. Two. Yeah, that's def that, that is thick into the red limit there. Gondorian spears there. One, two, three, four cheaper say more gondorian archers over there too uh infantry 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 helms i'm sorry raven helms and more gondor spears so that explains why we don't have any armor upgrades i think that uh, this is maybe a bit of a new player here or maybe this is a secret strategy that i am unaware of but uh we have definitely gone into the red limit here zoom in on over we've got mirkwood uh, as we can tell by the deers uh, this is ellipsis again so he's got his huntsman of Amon Lank. Here he Lang, here he Oth. No armor upgrades. Sindar. General's in with the Sindar. Then here he Peng, here he Peng. Here he Oth, here he Lang, here he Oth. And the Huntsman of Amon Lank again. Nice. Nice. Summon units, maybe? What was the funds here? I don't know. It's not a very big army. Yeah, it must be some hidden units dotted around that we're just not seeing. Anyway, then the big gun, or big gun 09, he's got his Harland in uh, guard. Hard, yeah, just, yeah, that was too fast for me. Mythlon Marines, Harland in guard again, zooming on over here. The, uh, maybe I'm going a bit too fast, just chill, just chill. Harland in infantry, uh, Nolder in guard, some more pikes, Mythlon pikes, Forland in pikes, and Mythlon Swordmasters. Then the Harland in infantry, more infantry, Blade Masters there, uh, Mythlon Lancers, and horse lords of Umo. Mythalon Lancers, absolutely gorgeous because of their javs, but you've got to keep in mind, uh, if you if you were slamming them into enemies like that, they're still going to be just using that, uh, that uh, javelin until they pull out their main weapon. Why was I doing that at 0 0.1 speed? Because then we've got to wait until everybody's finished deploying. Uh, let's just watch and see how Sue deploys. Nomadic Variag Bowman and Nomadic Marauders, sorry, Nomadic Raiders out front. Nomadic Raiders, of course, lacking that shield, but just being a very beefy unit size, they can soak up arrow fire. Whereas the Variag Bowman, with that armor upgrade, especially, they can uh, they can take a bit of a beating because they got that little shield, a little buckler there. Uh, so that's fair enough behind them. Um, and even if some shots get over into the Nurad Footman, you don't care. Your big old shield is gonna shrug that off. The Nomadic Axeman there, with an armor upgrade, I think. This is an interesting little army you got here, Stu. Um, but yeah. Now, what I would normally do here is I would have like my I would have a unit of spears behind these guys. But um, that's something that Kand does not really have in great excess. And uh, you don't really need it because you kind of want people to come at you. You want the enemy to want to charge you and they just swallow them up with your wind riders your no matter your, everything your wind riders or your wind riders and uh, wind blades wind blades that's what i was looking for what we got on the other team anyway this looks like has a dim's color um what's that orange no it's rune i think that's rune 
then Darwinian over there on the left, and uh, oh well, we can tell, we can tell, we can tell right now. Uh, and Ladris, Arthurdean, I'm an idiot. Arthurdean was black before. Damn it. Anyway, uh, Panther here playing as Darwinian. He's got his Marquindy Glade Lords, the Nandor Glade Riders, uh, mixed in with the Elvellan Vineguard, uh, Elvellan Infantry, Vineguard, Glade Masters, Infantry, Infantry. And Vineguard and Glade Riders. Zooming on over here, Arthedane has the Evendam Spears. Or chairs, sorry, Evendam Archers. Arthedane Marksman with an armor upgrade, beefy boys. Evendam Spears there with an armor upgrade, I believe. Gives them those fancy pauldrons. Uh, the archers just come with those fancy pauldrons as standard. Then Arthedane Pikemen, keeping them nice and fresh with their uh, unarmored physiques. Then behind them, the Arthedain men-at-arms, and more Arthedain men-at-arms. Uh, so maybe that is them standard, because it would be weird to give them an armor upgrade and nobody else. But, either way, dismount Forest Aaron Knights. Over here are some Cav, dis oh sorry, mounted Forest Aaron Knights. And the Royal Court, oh beautiful boys. The Royal Court of House Amleth by Gilgalad. Yep, I say it. Gotta be, gotta be one of my favorite looking models. And uh, the Knights of Numinous here too. Again, looking great, but damn the Royal Court. I, nine times out of ten, I would take the Knights of Numinous over the Royal Court. And that's where the General is. He's just got all of his all of his court just being like, yes, no, I'm going to ride with the Knights today. You guys go away. Um, Pharaoh. So yeah, he is Dwarves of Khazadim, I thought so. And he's he's coming for a rush. Interesting. Which is kind of what you'd want to do. Well, up against Cad, yeah, you get away with a rush. Uh, we'll see. Um, kind of open yourself up to some cavalry actions, but a lot of these sentries will keep them safe. Sentries, warriors of Khazad Doom. Hammers are going to bad. Charging in, more sentries, warriors of Khazad Doom. Yeah, sentries, sentries. Boop, boop. Uh, Mithril Guard. Sons of the Fallen. Then, Mercenary Crossbowmen. Very cheeky. I love that. Yeah, it's nice. They used to have little, <laughs> the the model for the crossbow that used to look kind of funny. Uh, but it looks decent now. Well, it's always looked decent, but yeah. Uh, Sons of the Fallen again, then zooming on over. Rune, I was correct. Luke, Ennis, Rem here, Dragon's Wrath Warlords, Camel Shadow Guard, Sion Rem, out front, Crossbowmen, that's not going to be fun for going. Well, actually, we've not gone too heavy into our armor, so we'll see. We've got a lot of numbers. Luke, Flag Rem, Sion Rem, and Gamp Rem behind. Then over here, more Shadow Guard, and a lot more cavalry. Um. Ennis Rem, yeah, Dragonites. Okay, okay. Immediate concerns. Um, this is nice. Nice formation. Uh, this is pretty much how I would be deploying. A lot of these archers, yeah, so Kazadum's coming at you. They don't have any iron, they don't have any iron watch. They, the only range unit they've got are the mercenary crossbows, and you could shoot them down quite easily. They do have armor, but you can still shoot them down. Uh, iron, oh, they do have Iron Watch of Maramir. Okay, so you don't want to get into too close a confrontation if you can avoid it, but it's going to happen. Unload fire into the sentries. Uh, all the what? Yeah, but he's going to be on you. He's going to be on you fast. You can kite his can, though, decently enough. King Amar is going to be coming on forward, and he's probably going to swallow on up these archers. These archers are going to do a decent job, but it looks like they're mixed in. Right, what's happened here is they've been lined up, and then they've then they've spread out. So that is why they're kind of bundled up like this. It looks kind of fun. It looks kind of cool. I'm actually, um, yeah, uh, maybe can we get, uh, let's, let's go into like 0 0.5 so I can get a picture. Yeah, because it's kind of cool, just all of them. Yeah, but so you can see the issue with that is there, there are a lot of them are just shooting up straight up when they really should be shooting straight forward into these crossbows who they would eradicate. Some of them are shooting straight forward, but yeah. It's that formation I think is going to kill this defensive line. And everything's spread out. Which is good. You know, definitely no uh, cannon. But, see, it doesn't... When you're spread out and then you're still merged in amongst each other like this, it's a big issue. So spearmen are going to have to keep themselves safe from the cavalry swarm. Uh, but there's a lot of spearmen for it. Stu is coming on over here to assist. And you see, he will devour this Easterling calf. And Stu's rushing out to meet the oncoming Dwarven attack. These uh, footmen there, Nurad footmen, will do quite well. And as well, the, no the Nomadic Axemen AP. But, so as long as he can stop them from really forming up, and that's why he's come out for a counter charge. That's bold, but it makes a lot of sense. 
Uh, because in a normal fight, if he can avoid them like forming up properly, then this is going to go well for him. Wind Riders coming on over here. I'm going to have to stay at 0 0.6 because, yeah, 4v4s are panicking. Like, it's scary. Yeah, Ellipsis, I don't blame. Ellipsis is okay to hold back here. Uh, because Arthur Dane is holding back. So just staring at each other like this, and Ellipsis as well, he's sending over a lot of his cavalry to go and support. Arthur Dane is too, so you need to make sure if, you're at, if your enemy, if your opposing force is sending over supporting forces, you need to do so as well. Uh, but over here, this Linden versus Dorwinian attack is, is going to be quite interesting. Um, both, of course, with a lot of elves floating about. Um, ooh... Lots of arrow fire coming into the horse loads, but they're probably one of the only units that actually have the armor to uh, to withstand that. But they lack a shield, so you don't want that to happen. Um, I actually don't know the, the armor value of the horse loads. I'm be talking out my ass. I often do that. Lots of stakes around, though, so you don't got to be careful with these, Cav. Uh, Huntsman there. Yeah, anti-cavalry. Glade Guard there. Um, the Glade Guard do have an anti-cavalry bonus, but I'd be... I'd probably want to go in for a charge but it's the vine guard lurking right behind them i don't actually know if i don't know if glade guard have an anti cavalry bonus huntsman and uh, yeah Stu is working very nicely here with ellipsis as they are continuing to just barrel shots into this attack and this is why i really don't like rushing cavalry heavy factions because things can get quite chaotic and um yeah you don't really have front lines as oh god these sentries have broken variag warriors are still plowing on forward Warriors of Kaz... Where they have managed to organize, it's going very, very well. But um, that arrow fire is going to be constantly coming in. It's not going to do too much, but it's going to do something. And the flanks, where the cavalry have been able to be very effective, the, the flanks are buckling. It's the center, though, that is going to be the nuisance for, for Stu. Over here, though... <clears throat> oh, dear, yep. See, this is um, what you, what you just see all the time, really. Um, just a, a blob situation. Oh god, that's that's a big break. Yeah. Oh, that's such a shame. Yeah, but it's, it's just it's just new player things, dude. Um, surrounded over here, cavalry slamming into the spearmen, uh, just sort of bottled up there, and yeah, it's just yeah hammering all around. These Gondorian archers falling back a bit as they kind of should, but they're they're away from all support now, and uh, they, these cavalrymen are just going to be able to mince them. Uh, so that is a shame, but uh, the Gondorian infantry, uh, they're going to hold out as best they can. But yeah, as I say, this was this was uh, rigged from the start, unfortunately. Uh, nomadic light cavalry firing into these guys. Sorry, i got to clear my throat. <clears> throat> there we go. Uh, nomadic marauders still standing, still got their javelins. Uh, but the Sons of the Fallen have started to push through, and even grabbed some of these nomadic marauders who are in guard mode so they're still getting their javelins off and this the shadow actually uh sorry the brother of the shadow are getting their little knives off too so that's cool sons of the fallen here Ooh. i wonder who that is uh 29 for 25 overall though so blue team is down a little bit but not massively as a lot of these hidden units have popped on up and Mirkwood is going to start unloading. But once again, they're still just watching each other. So they're just sending off little bit by bit to support. Oh god, these poor Evident Spears are going to get dismantled by the Woodland Realm Axemen. As long as no cavalry comes into support. I, I love the Huntsmen. I really think the Huntsmen are damn good. But they're not capable of dealing with the, uh, the Knights of Anuminus. The real clash is being uh, carried out over here it looks like linden is having the best of it though yeah oh no in the center things are quite uh, darwinian focused uh but yeah again once again kind of like the dwarves over at the side the center may be getting controlled but the flanks are faltering these poor wardens have been focused in on as they should by panther that was a good spot just get them rattled into oh oh dear that was a that was a very damaging strike for poor uh for mirkwood uh, but uh, their elven morale should hold out. You need to shoot these glade guard. Uh, but saying that, yeah, Panther's got total freedom with his cavalry, and he is just rattling around. So that's not fun. It's not a fun place to be in. And I think uh, Linden is going to be faltering there, um, unless uh, yeah, because Mirkwood's cavalry has kind of been defeated. Axemen, yeah, let's see. But those axemen are going to be able to win that fight quite comfortably. Sendar broken there. Oh, but they will return. They really should return. 
A nomadic light cavalry still firing away. Brotherhood of the Axe. God, this is 15,000 frames. How is it 15,000 frames? We're almost done. We're almost, we're almost 50 percent. Um, 50 percent. Sorry, not 15. Hammers are going to bad. And yeah, it's, it is a panicked clash. But panicked clashes normally benefit the the evil factions. Good charge there. Into into the Mithril Guard. Very nice. Yeah, and I know it's Windblades, but kind of like the you know the Melkor's Chosen, the Inquisitors, well the Witch Realm Inquisitors, all of this stuff. Um, you can do this sort of stuff with these, these powerful. Are they just? All right, no, okay. I thought that they were. Oh, well, oh, damn, these Iron Watch. Yeah, they are getting chased away. So even though the infantry has gone, the infantry is wiped out, um, basically, and um, the cavalry is still quite strong. I was just saying that these brother of the shadow. Oh, okay, yeah, they're they're doing okay. Yeah, they're still doing okay. And now, how much does Rune sort of have? Crossbows are still here, and they still have ammo. So that's scary. Um, but as for the actual infantry, Flagrim are still pretty uh, pretty healthy. As are... The Cav have kind of suffered, because, as I say, a lot of these Gondorian spearmen are still around. Why are these archers still around, alive? King Amar, they should be dead. <laughs> but I guess he's wanting to just break the front lines. They're not firing, I suppose. So that's probably why. But no. Anyway. Charge into the back there. Then, uh, Dragon's Wrath Warlords. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah, they're freed up now. This is probably, yeah, a good idea to come over and support. Just try and break Stu's infantry. Just try and keep a lot of these dwarves alive. Where are we at now? 56 for 50. Where are those, uh, wind blades? Still about. Still, I, I've not seen them really fight properly yet, so they might be still quite healthy. Good, good catch here. Yeah, very good catch. Just getting these, uh, getting some cycle charging done against those crossbows is a good idea because those crossbows could hurt the wind blades. But uh, looks like we're still just charging into the mithril guard. That's not going to be fun for those poor mithril guard. Broken there. Sentries of Kazadum look like they came back from routing. Oh, some Evendum spears there going toe to toe with the axemen, but uh, they'll, they'll survive for a while, but not not too long. Forest era knights around. Troll slayers look like they've used up their ammo. Fallen on back. Don't really want to be fighting the. Uh, you don't really want to be fighting Merkwood at all with uh, with the troll slayers. To be honest, they they want to be going up against some uh, some heavily armored guys. But uh, you got to do what you got to. They're an elite unit at the end of the day. They might just be your only choice. Uh, these poor forest era knights not in a good position up against an elven swordmaster. I swordmasters have grown on me. I used to really dislike them, but they they are better than I used to give them credit for. But um. No, it's up against an up against a, an elven swordmaster. You're still not gonna. You're still not cut for that. Uh, which you don't. We shouldn't really be. Um, Vine guard. They're kind of this. This Linden front line is really hell. Um, Linden can really get the numbers on the ground and the pikes on the ground to uh, to get a nice front line, which is tough for a lot of elves to do, just because they can't get the numbers there. And um, so that is where Linden and to an extent is where Merc would. Can, can shine over the other two more expensive Elven factions and uh, more elite Elven factions. But no, definitely with the use of pikes that Linden has, uh, you can do some good work with them. That's uh, that's a bit of a misfire there. I think they were probably targeting them and they still are. Good, good. They've stopped that now. They need to find another target. Even if they're not getting a great shot on it, they're Elves. They should be able to get some good accuracy. Here you paying floating about. Quite close to stakes, so if these knights showed up and got a bit too close, they could run in amongst the stakes. These look like dismounted knights of a Numinous getting in amongst the elven archers. That's not fun, but we've got the elder of the elven king raining shots onto them, and that's going to hurt. Uh, well, it's going to throw them around too, so it'll slow them down. Uh, oh, we do have a general here. This, these are the wind blades coming into the troll slayers. That's good. They are not going to. They are not going to withstand a charge very well at all. Because, uh, you know, their armor is very low. So an armor, you know, really does protect you against, uh, against a charge. Armor protects you against everything. So it's it's not fun to receive that. And I'm pretty sure the wind blades aren't armor piercing. Even in their charging state. Uh, Sentries of Khazad Doom, along with the warlords here, killing something. Oh, what's left of the shadows? Uh, the Gondorians are really quite resilient here. Uh, but that's them sort of wiped, surely, by now. Yeah, so that's them gone. Apart from these archers. 
But as I say, those archers really need to meet up with somebody. Gondorian infantry, yeah, this is good. This is definitely where you uh, you need to just gather up and move toward your allies. But I guess you just can't do that. Yeah, the the cavalry is gonna gonna just squeeze you out. So you just gotta see what you can do. But it's hard. Um, wind blades still floating about. Just need to do some charges. It's kind of weird that you're relying on the like one of the best melee cavalry units uh, to um, to charge away. Ooh. Interesting. Okay, slice down the general there, but uh, Kazadim's morale should keep them safe. Sons of the Fallen, you're not going to be able to pull off that charge maneuver up against them. Sindar of the Girdle. Ooh. Yeah, still around. These Dunedain Troll Slayers are doing pretty well, uh, but they're in guard mode. They really, I think they should just be able to take another axes now. Yeah. There's not too much you could do either way. And over here. Oh, yeah, of course you can get two units of the Troll Slayers, can't you? Uh, so they're just getting sliced on down by the Hiri Lang. Good counter to them. There's big heavy axes, as I say. It's not really what you want to do use to fight elves, but, you know, something you just got to. What's this? Stalkers there. Um, yeah. Charging amongst that. Ooh, our Linden Guard. I forgot they were spearmen. I forgot they were spearmen. Yeah. But, uh, ah, Panther hurt them. And he, and he made them take out their spears. So they've stopped firing onto the front line. Which is, is good. But I'd probably want to, yeah, I'd be wanting to target stuff like this. Especially where you've got your own guys fighting the front of them. Oh, four Linden Pikes. Again, sorry. God damn. Brain dead. Um, but yeah. I'm not saying that attack was brain dead. I'm saying... It was maybe it was maybe me being a bit dumb. Um, the Glade Guard there, yeah, they'll be able to hurt the, uh, the Blade Masters, but uh, Blade Masters ain't going to go down easy. Um, as we've seen in a few of my battles recently, uh, Mythlond Marines, just two of them, hanging out. Very bloodied. Just the two banner carriers, that's kind of funny. Um, but still, they're, yeah, they, they will be messed up right now. Uh, oh shoot, need to be on the hunt for an image, I think. Uh, just go do it. I don't know. God, I don't know. Um, I grabbed, a, I grabbed an image if I have to use it, but uh, really should look for something else. Let's uh, just get this, just in case. Ah, the wind blades have arrived. Uh, which I think... Uh, has he basically just deserted what's left of his army? Yeah, what's left of the dwarves are coming on over. And... Um, yeah, this is good. Rune is forming up. He's got the time to do this. Um, and the enemy have shown how effective their use of cavalry can be. So just forming up and, and organizing yourself to uh, uh, before you just wildly charge on in. Like, Pharaoh is, is rushing on forward, which is risky. Um, Sindar, there's four Sindar. All Lancers, though. Uh, no banner carries among them, so they all get their lances down, which is a good AP striking attack against just about anything here. But I would definitely want to run away from this. You can outrun the dwarves, so you should. Just merge together. Don't get just eaten away at piece by piece. Um, even the marchers here, yeah. Let's see. Just, uh, just kill them off with a one blade charge. And as bad as that kind of looked for a long while, I think Linden sort of has it. Well done. Yeah, cool, good, good. I, I didn't think Linden would take that. I thought they were going to be dead. But uh, Dorwinian has made them bleed. And uh, it looks like the elves are going to be able to group together. And uh, all the while... Oh, Knights of Anuminus still standing from Gilgalad. So they can do some charging. But say if they came on in here to try and strike at the Hiri Oth, the Windblades would be at them. And uh, outnumbered by Windblades, I don't think anybody can really take that fight. Um charging over Ooh, okay he might he might slip around okay no no he's gonna go for it okay this could be nice ah that's the general of our Ar but arthur dane doesn't really have any forces left so let's just let's see if we've got anything cool here so the thing is um those knights sort of got a charge off but as soon as the real like combat happens the the wind blades sort of have this confrontation the, uh, the Knights of Anuminus definitely have them beat in terms of their armor value, but uh, just the sheer cav-killing power of the Nurad Windblades is, is going to be too much. Oh, but they're going to suffer for it, as they have. Jeepers. Down to 9, and I suspect they'll go down to 8. Uh, how's this little jewel going to go? Oh, it's not going to be a jewel. Damn it. Get out of here. Get out of here. I think, yeah, this guy's not going to be able to take out two of them. 
general is still around. He's not bloodied yet, so he might be still quite healthy. Yeah, this is good. Just just fall back. Um, don't want to get mixed up with the Sindar. Don't want to get mixed up with the Windblades. So just fall back to the uh, to Rune's organized front line. Now the issue is, those Arlindan Guard still have some arrows. Oh, don't, don't, what are you using your arrows on? Ah, I don't think... Mm, I know you're shooting them in the back. I don't know, man. I don't know if I'd save that ammunition to kill crossbowmen or not. Hmm. Well, matters how, I, I wasn't really watching how many crossbows, how many bolts those guys used. So maybe, uh, maybe it is worth it. So we still got eight. So they were able to bring down one more. I think that's solid. Um, I wouldn't have done it myself. I would have. I would have just sort of kicked back, you know, watched over the dwarves. But uh, but you definitely hurt the um, the remaining wind blades. And maybe those cinder are dead. So the cav advantage is not as clear for the um, for the blue guys. Archer fire coming on in. Still, okay, they are doing a hell of a lot of damage. This this must be so frustrating to Pharaoh, because you just can't outrun elven archers. Um, so, yeah. Oh, that was funny. Um, it would be funny to try and run away and then turn around every time a shot's going to come in, but you can't really do that. Um, wind blades, though. Oh, don't get too close to those crossbows. One, um, one good crossbow volley from that 120-man unit, and these wind blades are toast. Uh, but, okay. Worthwhile attack. Get out though. Oh, they're so slippery. They're so slippery. Um. Ah, oh dear, another one. Hmm. Is that not in? Yeah. Yeah. He's he's shuffled these guys. Oh no, he hasn't. I thought King Amar might have shuffled them around. But um, he will be watching out for them. So these elites are here, but they are exhausted, and they they must be quite bloodied. Cards of Kazadim can get very bloodied, though. Hmm. I do not know. Okay, crossbows are coming on up. <sighs> Harland Guard still have a f ammo. Um, oh, don't, 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 please. I mean, there's, some of them are shooting straight up. Here you're lying there. I don't think Woodland Realm Patrol. I do. I doubt they have ammo. Of this, when you when you can form it, you basically a second two v two. Well, you get, yeah, you get a second, you know, fight, which in this case is basically a 2v2 plus some wind blades. Um, so that's nice. Charging on through. Uh, man, oh man. See, I don't know. I would not be as bold as Stu is being with these. Because um, you just, yeah, he's, he's reloading. Uh, let's slow it down to 0 0.8 again, just uh, just so we can make sure we don't miss any of this. See, he's not going to get out of that. He's not going to get out of that safe. Where did they... Hmm. Oh, what? That had no right <laughs> to be as safe as it was. But I guess they were targeting the main line. So the main clash is occurring. Now, the thing is that Rune still has... They've got the Dragon Knights. Those Windblades are not going to be able to kill the Dragon Knights. Um, not in their current state. And the Ennis Rim are there too to just provide a little bit more mass. And a few more numbers. They're heavily armored, so they'll take a little while to die. Um, but yeah, jeepers. Okay, so... But the main power, I think, is this Gap Rim line. Kiri Pen coming forward. Because the AP is kind of wasted. But um, it's just the organized sort of front line off a halberd phalanx yeah the oh, sorry wind riders are still coming in that's wavering that's not good Ooh, yo, 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 yo. sentries of Kazadum trying to back them up the elites of the dwarves are going to have to do their best here but yeah just coming in for some charges here noldor and guard definitely what you want to charge but they'll they'll hurt you for a charge for sure but uh they're just about the only unit that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these dwarven elites still and uh, they, they would struggle with that. The center is really where they're having a lot of difficulty. That's where the phalanx has really been able to form up properly. The right side is starting to fall away now too. As these gamblers have formed up. What's left of the wind blades doing their best. But Scion Rim, man, I don't know. The Mithril Guard are still in reserve. Here off, they're broken. That's 50, man. That's a, that's a shame. Uh, Harland and Guard just moving over to protect the rear of the front line. 
That's quite good. One unit has gone into reinforce, but the other one's watching their backs for cavalry. That's nice. Elders of the Elven King. Don't want them to get charged down. Which they kind of are. Like, if you can move in to trap them, which you are, that's good. Sion Rim. Yeah, okay, wow. That was, yeah, that's a good move. Oh, shoot. These are Dragon's Wrath Warlords. And Dragonite. Oh, damn, okay, right. I didn't realize they were both knights. Another charge. <laughs> Into the Guards of Khazad Dim. Um, that's not fun for the Guards of Khazad Dim. They, okay, the Sons of the Fallen have broken through. Methyl and Pike are going to stand in their way. These Hiriolf have come back. They need to get sent back onto the fight. Uh, I'm sure they will be. I'm sure everybody's micromanaging everything as best they can. A Numinous Gate Guard? What, what, what do? Where, where have you guys been? Oh, well, they're running. Um, Hammer's going to bad. Still around. Sons of the Fallen. Oof. Cheap or sick. See, most cavalry can't just bolt around like that. Harlan and Guard, they're broken. Just under 50. Um, Harland and Guard here fighting at the front, but then also cavalry to the back of them. What is this? Ennis Rim. Yeah, surrounding this Hiri Lang position. Surely they surely blue team don't have this. Um, there's just such a powerful calf presence. Five wind blades left. Gone! Hey! <laughs> hey, hey! The Gondor Spearmen and Gondor Archers remain. Oh my god. Okay, cool. And they're getting some. Oh, it's long range, but they're getting shots into the back of this line. So, of course, their shields aren't coming into play. That's awesome. Okay, and these Gondor Spears, too, so he can't. Oh. We're still in this, boys. We're still in this. Okay, um, Harling Guard piercing on through. Elders trying to do their best, but I would be I'd be ch ch charging away in those Elders. I guess, yeah, Big Gun is doing an amazing job here, just chasing off these calf. What we got there? Broken Warriors of Khazad-Dim. Um, zooming on in. Ooh, 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 ooh. Flag rim. Ennis rim, kind of a slow charge, but effective. Really slow, but yeah, okay, cool. Um, not his fault. It's, yeah, sometimes the AI is just weird like that. Five wind blades remaining still. Going to rain archers, yeah, just rattle shots into this. If you can, no, it's, you've got to use the uh, marksman of Kirandros to get fire arrows. Uh, but yeah, you could probably break the eastern men. Forland and Pike's doing an amazing job. Jesus criminy, boys. Just, yeah, oh, come on. These here off need to get around the back of the, of the Sons of the Fallen. Ah, damn, 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 damn. Woodland Realm Patrol, surely out of ammunition. Yeah, they are, they are. Um, what are we at? Oh, 90, 93 for 90. It's this beefy blob of, of golden boys that remains, though, is the issue. Harland and Guard coming on back into the flag rim. Defend the Elves of the Elven King. As long as they don't get a proper great cavalry charge off on the elders, the elders will just slice their way through just about anything that goes in front of them. What the? Gatbrim watching their back for cavalry. That's smart. Everybody's watched. Oh, wow. Harland and Guard, I'm surprised they didn't just break immediately there. They held. But wow, they just got swallowed. Um, they, they didn't break. That's awesome. Oh, Mithril Guard are still there. Guards because it were the wind blades. We need the wind blades. <laughs> Still four wind blades uh, around, coming into the back lines in the Vigram. Where did those Gondorian spearmen get to? I think they just came into the backs of these boys. Ah, oh, damn! The right flank is broken entirely now. We got some men in reserve. Gondor archers still just trying to use up what ammunition they've got. I don't think that the uh, I don't think the red guys have spotted them. Wind blade charge there into the back, backing up the Huri Lang, who are oh, it's 64 guys, and you're wavering. Don't waver. Reorganize. St stabilize, boys. Stabilize. Harland and Guard are broken now, though. And the Elders can't stand out from this. No, they've done so well, those Elders, but they, they've they been kept safe by Big Gun. Like, Big Gun has been suffering so much to actually keep them safe. Ah, the Heary Lang broken? Come on, boys. Uh, Windblades there are down to four. Heary... Oh, what have we got still over here? Damn, Heary off broken. Yeah, it looks like these guys have sort of been forgotten by Ellipsis. But he'll kill off a few more, but he's not going to be able to stop that charge. Four wind blades. The Gamp Rim's still around. Hmm. Yeah, damn. If these guys could come back, that would be nice. Wow, I'm surprised he didn't just catch them. Oh, my boy. So close to bloody halberds. 
How are these elders doing? Elders still haven't victory is certain. A few of these mithril guard kind of getting, away, getting in the way of those charges. Ennis Rim's still there. Dragon Knight's still around. Ah, oh, yeah, okay, nope. That general down now. Crossbow fire looks like they finished him. My, was that crossbow fire? Sure, hopefully it wasn't accidentally uh, friendly fired by the by the archers there, but it was probably just a shadow guard or a, or a flat or a, sorry gamp rim that dealt with them. These last two wind blades, what are they up to? I think they've got their sights set on the mithril guard. Ah, oh, the elder's broken. Damn. Yeah, you can see the sort of the difference between like Mirkwood morale and like Enladris morale and such like that, but it's um, they're still very good. But, uh, and you don't blame them really for running there, but still it's a shame. And then this is, that's it. Okay, so let's just, hammers are going to bat over here. Oh yeah, Woodland Realm. These Heary Oath have come back. As of these Heary Lang, if Ellipsis could just try to get together, but the problem is out in this area, there's no support from uh, from cavalry. These spearmen broken. Um, Where are those? There's one wind rider, so let's just follow him. As he uh, as he does his best, and he's just going to throw himself into the Ennis Rim. To be honest, he'll kill a lot of the Ennis Rim. Um, actually, he's totally surrounded. Surely not, <sighs> my boy. Um, no, that's him gone. Uh, oh, just getting chased away. Um, they might be on skirmish mode. I think they're on skirmish mode. Um, so let's just probably bob it up here and go up to two times speed so yeah, that was pretty solid what did we end up getting to 93 so that's uh that is nothing to be too ashamed of in a 484 i think it's definitely definitely pretty solid um a shame it's just it's just new newer players um just sort of not really sure how to make their armies um I, what i always say to new players and I, I stick to this a bit too much sometimes is just never go over the red limit like it's um when you when you start to get more acquainted with the game yeah definitely like go over the red limit like i mean i've seen guys um take you know a uh, what bacon fish i've seen bacon fish take like three units of mithril guard to a fight and have victory you know and i've seen um i've seen people make some weird army compositions but because they've really thought it out and i mean lord forbid the dreaded triple mimikill attacks you can't do that anymore that's that's gone but that used to be something you could get away with but um we actually ended up getting yeah yeah 93 nice 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 yeah um but for for when you're starting out just if it goes red don't take it now and, and in addition to that they might have not known about how to do armor upgrades they really might be brand new like um we we just don't know but uh, in addition to that like oh wait oh oh he did maybe show me that um i think he might have he might have shown me the the ending battle screen um i'll need to get that if, if he did i'll be popping up here and uh, and showing everybody but if he didn't sorry about that the uh yeah people people do crash and uh, so if the battle ends here sorry if he didn't if 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 it doesn't then you know it carries on i'll probably speak about it just before anyway um i think yeah everybody did really good here um as i say about about gondor that was just something that happens you know and the images for the gondor spearmen they they all appear to be fully armored up so that's always something that you could definitely understand why somebody's a bit confused why they picked these pictures of like a fully armored swordsman why is he just in you know chainmail? you know it's um yeah, yeah I, I do feel for that but like once you do that once you're not going to do that again and i always do say to people like you know uh, just watch a handful of videos on like not my videos but watch like a few U umads videos if you're brand new and um just watch them on two times speed and you're fine <laughs> just you know i i always i always watch youtube videos at two times speed it's the only way my voice sounds normal if you don't watch my videos at two times speed i don't know how you bear it but yeah, so just do that. I know it takes a lot of time, but just, you know, you can get through a 40 minute video in 20 minutes. Just have it on the background, you know, watch it now and again. Just, it'll it'll talk about the units. You'll see what to do, what not to do, and it'll really help you out. But yeah, anyway, um, but if you're watching this, that's not a message for you because you're already watching a YouTube video. So I don't know what I'm saying, but fucking hail them out. Anyway, see you guys, maybe.